Hey friends, in the previous video, we saw the introduction to doubly linked list. Now, in this video, we are going to see the code to create the doubly linked list. So, in the previous video, we understood all the details about the algorithm for doubly linked list. Now, we are going to see the actual program to create that doubly linked list. So, the structure for doubly linked list is here. As we have seen in our previous video, see struct node. So there is data, it can be of any data type. Then struct node star next means the next pointer and the previous pointer. Okay. So these are the two pointers next and previous. So as you know, the structure of a node in a doubly linked list is this. See, this is the data here it can be of any data type then the previous pointer here and the next pointer the pointer means the field stores the address of the previous node and here this field stores the address of the next node in that linked list so let's go to the program now so inside the program we declare some variables so n is the number of nodes, i is a variable used for the loop here for this for loop and item. So item takes the value of the element which we want to insert in the doubly linked list. So suppose we want to make a doubly linked list which has values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is our doubly linked list. So see. So now for this doubly linked list, see we have to take some pointer variables. So see new node star new node. Every time we create a node, we store that node inside this variable whose name is new node and star p. So p is the pointer which traces through this doubly linked list. Okay, so, so get the number of nodes from the user inside this variable n. So, printf enter the number of nodes and take that inside the variable n. So, n denotes the number of nodes. Okay, now this is over. So, after that, as you know, if you have seen my previous videos on singly linked list, then you must know that we create the zeroth element, the zeroth index element separately, individually. And after that, we create all the remaining elements in a for loop. Okay. So here is the thing. See, this is the code for creating that zeroth index element means the first element okay the index is zero so zeroth index element so the first element is created separately okay and then after that all the next elements are created in a for loop right so now so take the zeroth index node from the user means take that value inside the variable item so we scan if that value inside the variable item okay so that value is one so item will become one here right so now the important step here this is the code to create a node so now see we want to create a node here the first node means the zeroth index node zeroth index node okay so now i will call it as zeroth node okay so there will be no confusion so the zeroth node see new node is equal to struct node star m alloc size of new node you know this statement is used to allocate memory to a new node to allocate memory location so this is the statement this m alloc function allocates memory as the size of that node as the size of that data structure 
whatever is the size is required this m alloc function measures the size of that structure of that node and allocates that size to that node okay so after that you have to assign the values so new node points data so data inside that node is the value which we have entered so item means one which we have entered just now okay so item is assigned to that data of that node then next pointer and previous pointer become null so see here node created the value is assigned to that node data that is the item then the previous pointer becomes null and the next pointer becomes null okay right this is the zeroth node creation okay now let's see what are the next steps so this is a separate step okay this is the zeroth node creation and this code creates all other next nodes means whatever are the number of nodes even if there are thousand nodes then zeroth node will be created here and 999 nodes will be created in this for loop okay so now head is equal to new node so we make this node zeroth node as the head node of this doubly linked list so this is the head node of this doubly linked list okay now p is equal to new node so p is the pointer used to trace this doubly linked list inside this for loop so we have assigned pointer p to this new node okay see this is the new node right so this new node is called as the head and p is assigned to that new node right so these two statements are for this further program so we are going to use p in the further program you will understand it there now let's start for i is equal to 1 i is less than n i plus plus so we will go from 1 to n now okay 1 to n see printf enter next node so all the next nodes we are going to take one by one okay so we'll take it one by one so now i is equal to one so the first node that is the two so see i am calling it as the zeroth node and this as the first node so don't get confused we will call them as zeroth first second third fourth likewise okay so the first node we take so the value is 2 so 2 is entered by the user once we get the value of the item then we have to create a new node now so see here this is the code for creating the new node okay this code is exactly same as this code there is no difference because for creating a new node the procedure is same okay so see here new node is equal to struct node star m alloc size of new node so this m alloc function has allocated size to this new node now so let's create that new node so we create that node okay so here is the new node this is the first node see this is the zeroth node this is the first node now this node is called as new node okay so i erase this now because now this variable new node is pointing to the first node now we have used this variable new node to create the first node so new node will be the name for the first node okay now let's assign the data so see new node points data is equal to item item value is 2 so let's assign the item to the data field and then see new node points next is equal to null so let's make the next pointer as null okay then new node points previous is equal to p see this is the change in 
this code and this code so in this code new node points previous is equal to null but here new node points previous is equal to p so now i will tell you the reason see for this node for this first node there is a previous node present here the previous node is the zeroth node so the previous pointer will point to node p see p points to this node so the previous pointer points to this node because there is a node present before this first node in this linked list and that is the zeroth node okay but here when we created this zeroth node there was nothing present before this zeroth node there is nothing because this is the zeroth node so there is nothing that is why the previous pointer points to null for the zeroth node okay but for the first node second node third node fourth node up to the nth node every node has one previous node so the previous pointer will point to that previous node okay to the node before itself so the first node pointer previous pointer will point to p means the previous node okay and then another factor is coming in the next line c p points next is equal to new node obviously c p points to the zeroth index to the zeroth node so now the first node has been created so the next pointer of this zeroth node should point to that first node that new node okay so the next pointer will now point to that first node that is why it is written here p points next is equal to new node p points next is equal to new node new node points previous is equal to p these are the two statements which make the linking in this link list okay see these two statements are important new node points previous so this is the previous pointer and this is the next pointer new node points previous is equal to p and p points next is equal to new node okay so this is how we created the first node now let's see for the second node so for the second node if we want to create in the same for loop then p should go to the next node now right means we are preparing for the next for loop so p goes to the next node so see here p is equal to p points next so now p will point to the first node okay so that this p can serve as the previous node for the second node which will be created now second node okay so let's go to the next iteration so now i will become 2 i becomes 2 so we print enter next node we take the item so what is the item second index item see these indices are imaginary okay this is just for making you understand the node number okay so item is 3 the next item is 3 okay so create new node let's just create new node i will just make some space for that okay so yes i created a new node see with this statement the new node points data is equal to item so assign data to that node the new node points next is equal to null yes that is null okay the next pointer of the new node i will write it as new node okay now this is the new node so i erase this right so now the important two statements new node points previous is equal to p so the previous pointer will point to p because this is the second index node its previous pointer points to the first index node and p points to that node so 
न्यू नोड पॉइंट्स प्रीवियस इज इक्वल टू पी सो न्यू नोड पॉइंट्स प्रीवियस इज इक्वल टू पी एंड ऑब्वियसली पी पॉइंट्स नेक्स्ट इज इक्वल टू न्यू नोड सो पी पॉइंट्स नेक्स्ट इज इक्वल टू न्यू नोड ओके सो दिस इज इट नाउ अगेन पी पॉइंट्स टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेस मीन्स दिस इज द प्रिपेरेशन फॉर द next for loop means the next iteration of for loop so this is how we write the code for doubly linked list i will post this code on my github link the link is in the description below so you can copy that code and run that code thank you hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you